What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we have another graphics card. This one comes from MSI. It is their R9 380 Gaming 4G. So let's go ahead and take a look. The R9 380 Gaming 4G comes in MSI's typical retail packaging for their gaming series. So we have black and red here. On the front, it does have that MSI Gaming Dragon logo. Um, and that's pretty much it for the front. It lists some of the main features too, as, as well as four gigabytes of GDDR5, PC Express 3.0, and OC Edition. On the back though, it goes into great detail, not only on the card, but some of the other features as well. So if you are at the store, you can get a really good idea of what this card is all about. If we go ahead and open this up, we have a box inside of a box. Uh, this one is kind of easy to pull out, seems. And we do have the MSI Gaming Series logo on this box. And this first box looks to be our accessories. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And get it all out and see what we have here. So the first thing that we have is a little, uh, little DVI to VGA adapter right here. So if you have an older display, you can use this card with it. We have a quick user's guide, a graphics card, quick user's guide. We have a gaming product series guide. So this is gonna go over all of the products in the gaming series, just a little brochure there. And then we have our driver and software CD. As I always say, go to MSI's, MSI's website, or in this case, go to AMD's website and get the latest drivers because the ones on this are probably outdated. Move all that out of the way and we'll get a look at the card itself. Um, the card comes nicely packaged as you can see right here, anti-static bag and all of that. And one thing I've loved about MSI cards is they've really designed their cards to look great and they've incorporated so many different things, like so, so many little minute details to make them look great as well. Um, so we'll take this sticker off here that talks about the twin froze or the zero frozer fan and everything like that, which we'll talk about. Um, but what they've done is just like a little tension to detail, which I wanted to point out is like the protector on the PCI Express uh, connection is red. The covers on the back here are red, just like little details like that, which I really like that MSI has done throughout their entire product line now. It's really, really awesome. Um, it just, again, it just, uh, I don't know, I like stuff like that. I like that little attention to detail that they have here. So this is the R9 380 Gaming 4G. 4G means instead of the typical two gigabytes of GDDR5 that you have in a typical R9 380, you have four gigabytes of GDDR5. So for those who don't know, the R9 380 is a rebrand of AMD's R9 285, which is based on the Tonga Silicon. So this is basically a rebrand, faster clocks, everything like that. This card has a little bit of an overclock compared to the, um, the reference design. So you have um, 1000 megahertz core, and then the memory is actually overclocked to 5800 megahertz. Um, that's GDDR5 effective as well. So you're gonna have a little bit of a boost over reference design when using this card. Taking a look at the card, it has that MSI gaming um, design here with the Twin Frozer 5 cooler, which is one of the best looking coolers and it has a lot of really, really cool features. So you have the red and black opposite design here, which looks really great. Of course, you can match this not only with MSI's gaming motherboards, but as well as other motherboards that have red and of course black on them, which there are a lot out there. The cooler itself features two, um, two cooling fans here, and these cooling fans are the Torque 
X fans and these were introduced with twin Frozer 5 and what they actually do is as they are spinning they're pushing air down on the cooler um, for better cooling and for better airflow they actually push air down and what these actually um, also do is there's this uh, application that you can use within the uh, their software suite that allows you to control these fans independently so if you want one fan maybe running at 20 percent you want one running at 80 percent you can actually control the fans independently which is actually pretty cool um, for different applications or things that you're doing it's just a really cool feature that you know that they've added into their software suite these are also zero frozer fans and what that means is that when the gpu is running at idle and not very warm the the fans will actually turn off. This not only makes it quiet, but it saves you power as well. Again, another really cool feature. And then once the uh, temperature gets to a certain point, these fans will go ahead and spin up and start cooling off your GPU. The actually the actual cooling design is a dual uh, aluminum fin stack, and then you have a bunch of heat pipes in there to keep everything nice and cool as well. Taking a look at the side of the card here. Um, you can see there is an MSI logo and I'm almost 90% sure that will light up. So for being sort of a lower end card, having a, uh, a logo that lights up is actually pretty cool. And you can kind of see the, the heat pipes here. And then we have our power connections, which are two eight pin PCI Express connections. And then if we flip over to the back, we can see this awesome back plate again for a you know, not the highest end card in the 300 series. Having a backplate is pretty awesome here. Um, you can see the MSI Dragon logo, MSI logo. Just looks really great. Um, backplates are becoming extremely popular now, especially with everybody who has cases that have side windows that show off their graphics cards. You want a pretty awesome backplate right there. And then on this side, we have our connections here, um, our display output connections. And I'll take all these, as I mentioned, all these red covers off. You have DisplayPort, HDMI, and then you have your two DVI ports right there. So that is basically it um, for our quick little unboxing and overview of this card. Again, MSI has really done a great job making all, all their cards look the same and making them have all of these great high-end features even on a mid-range card like this. So check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review and that's going to include benchmarks all the way from 1080p all the way up to 4k, temperature testing, noise testing, all of that fun stuff. So until next time, catch you guys later.